Hey everybody, Sean Stepinski at the Habacker Corporation. Today with me is Dale Pachuto from Holder Sheet Metal, one of our BFAD dealers out in the Sandusky area. We're gonna demonstrate how to check a ground on some of the communicating equipment. What we're finding anymore is grounding is something that you really have to pay attention to. It's no longer just a safety connection. It, it's a referencing point for the unit. And if you got a bad ground throughout the house, uh, it could cause you loss of communication, intermittent communication problems, erratic operation. There's a lot of weird stuff that could take place. Uh, the listing says you gotta have less than 25 ohms impedance to ground throughout the ground circuit. And by that it means if I was to test the ground from the ground rod of the home, through the panel, through the wiring, through that disconnect, back to this unit in one big circle, it's gotta be less than 25 ohms or you're gonna run into trouble with that. So we're gonna do a little demonstration how to do that. It's actually very easy. I have a spool of wire here. I use 10 wire stranded because it's just easy to work with. I put a butt connector on one side so it's easy to stick a meter lead in there. The other side has a ground clamp on it. So what we're gonna do, you know, if you take the clamp, um, Let's go over to here. We're going to take the clamp. And Dale's going to put the clamp. The ground rod's down below us, but there's a ground lug right there. So we're going to put this ground clamp on the ground lug. So that is the earth ground of the home. That's our starting point. Just wiggle this around a little bit. We're going to get that thing tightened up longer. Once we have that on there, it depends on how far I got to go. I'll stick a screwdriver in the bottom and then we unwind this thing and we take this thing, a uh, spool of wire, we'll take it right over to the unit. So we pulled a spool of wire over to the unit. Here's the other end of the wire. The other end's on the ground uh, uh, rod. Dale, go ahead and uh, over here is the ground lug of the unit. We're gonna put one meter lead on the ground lug. The other meter lead goes in the wire socket. And then we're going to look at the meter, see what our ohm reading is. If that ohm reading is greater than 25 ohms, you got a problem. What we just did there is we went from the unit into the meter, out of the meter, into my wire, into the wire, into the uh, uh, earth ground, then through the panel, back through the home, out this disconnect here. It's one big loop. Less than 25 ohms, you're good. More than 25 ohms, uh, you're going to have problems. Hope you enjoyed that video and uh, hopefully that makes a little more sense to you.